everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty, and it is Wednesday night. And if you're joining over on YouTube, this is a live show over on Ustream.tv where I do talk to my friends in the box. And tonight I am going to do a little happy mail, show a couple things that I've done before we get going. And this is going to be a um, card class using the Art Impressions um, stamps. And I'll be playing with the Distress Oxides. If cards isn't your thing, then this is not, not a stream for you. <laughs> All right. So first off, I'm going to show my other class. Um, as you know, I started um, teaching again at my local scrapbook store. Well, local, it's like 40 minutes for me. <laughs> um, so this is my other, you saw this one. So this one says, love my earthlings. <laughs> and it's got this one here. So that's that page. And then I did this one with the spaceship. You can see that with the glittery spaceship. And then I used the Constellations uh, stencil. So yay cards, Jones loves cards. Um, and then this was my other one. This is a summertime one, so it's got the surfboards. You can see the little bears there. Thank you. <laughs> and then the other page, which everybody's going crazy over, the one with the snorkeling. <laughs> so. Uh, I probably have to put more. May, yep, true, Dorothy. That is true. Hi, Kia. Hi, everyone. So thanks for joining me tonight. So I do have some happy mail. To, uh, so first I'll show, uh, you guys know that I'll be leaving for Australia on um, April 20th. So I did make um, these books. The um, They're insert journals. I need to find my elastic. I couldn't find my elastic, so I just put um, the string on there. But this is um, done with um, craft text, and then I put some vinyl um, that I got at Hobby Lobby and I just glued that on there and then these are magnolia stamps I have this one with the koala bear and then I also have this one with the kangaroo Isn't that cute? <laughs> so and then I have this die from Cherry Lynn so you can see it's the doily with the little kangaroos in there so I made one for CB and Janet and one for Jen and then I made some copies of um, the little girls for um, Heather and um, Carrie Ann. Hi Gail! <laughs> so and so in this one I put a little uh, I made a little pocket so I could keep a couple little things in there then I have um, some dot grid in here but then for that um, I'm carrying my watercolor pencils so this is one of Jane Davenport's uh, inserts so I decided to keep my pencils in that so that's that and then I've got um, this um, tag was done by Sue. Very nice, Sue. <laughs> so I didn't know. I wanted to use it, so I made a little pocket. And inside here were some stickers that I um, kept in here. So I'll bring this book along with me. Let's stick this in here. <coughs> um, thanks, Jeannie. Yeah, thanks. And then if you remember, we did the magical, so I actually had a piece of a magical um, 8x11, and I cut that up for the doilies. So, so they look really cute. And then, of course, I put the mermaid tape on there. So, hi, CB. So, CB and Janet, um, I'm sending your Zentangles. I'm sending you this book. You have to punch your own holes and put your own elastic. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but you could take it with you to Australia if you want or save it for when you get home. But I was thinking I didn't want to carry both your books and maybe you didn't want to carry your book. So they're in the mail and hopefully you get them by the end of the week. So, so that's the first thing that um, so I wanted to show you. And then this, Teresa Peterman, if you know her, she's the sweetest, um, sweetest person. She, uh, of course, I love her envelope says from across the miles to bring you smiles and she's always sending me cards so this was a cute little card that she made and then she made each of us cb uh, janet and jen one of these little travel books so it's got a little uh thing here so you can put some charms are you welcome cb <laughs> and then if you saw janet's stream she's monkey island madness um here on Ustream as well as youtube and so um, everybody was going crazy over this little book. So in here you can see their um, pockets to put like receipts and stuff. And she stamped on the pages. I don't know if you can see the pages are stamped. And then when you flip it over this way, there's um, 
like for journaling or putting pictures on here. And she stamped these. So she um, did say that she was going to, um, yes, she did outdo herself. Oh my gosh, what is that? Somebody was a dog barking or biting, I don't know. Um, anyway, so Teresa says she's going to make the pattern. So if um, you friend with her, um, you'll be able to um, get the pattern. So, yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? I love the paper. It's like perfect for our trip. So I'll be bringing this book with me and my other little journal book. So thank you very much, Teresa, for thinking of us in our trip. Yes, it's really cool. I really love this part, too, where we can actually put pictures. And I have one of those... Um, sprockets so i'll be able to take a, a photo and then um actually put it there and so then i bought some extras so if the girls want to um use a sprocket they could um, take some pictures and put it in their little book so yeah it's a cute little book isn't it so i don't know if she, was Teresa going to send the pattern to janet and janet was going to stream it i don't i really don't know how that's going to work but um so thank you for Teresa for um sharing that with everyone all right, so, yeah, it is a neat book, isn't it? All right, now, so that is all of my show and tell. So tonight we're going to do some cards. I'm going to do some, um, just use the stress oxides. So I did get these um, stamps at um, Hobby Lobby when I was there today. It is a cute book. So this is um, from Art Impressions. So this is the dog one, and it says... So this is more of like um, feeling better. So this one says, on the bright side, you don't need a cone. <laughs> you see that one? That's cute. Yeah. Oh, the pattern is on her Facebook. She did it. Yes. Oh, good. So Eileen says the pattern is on her Facebook. So if you Facebook Teresa Peterman, is it Peterman? Peterson. Um, friend her, Teresa Peterman. P-E-T-E-R-M-A-N-N. -E um, and, you know, she might give you the, um, the pattern. <laughs> um, so then this one says, sending doggy kisses to help you feel better. So you can see that one there. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> um, this one says, I hope it won't take too long to recover. Cute little Dotson. <laughs> um, heard it's been rough. Sit, stay, heal. Isn't that cute? So we're probably not going to do that one today. I think we're just probably going to do the sloth. We'll have enough time to do the sloth one today. So this one is um, it's called Sloth Some Set. <laughs> it says, I love you a whole sloth. This one is um, softy, like slothy break, coffee break, slothy <laughs> break. It says, slow down, enjoy your day. I love this one here, the one that's upside down. <laughs> Hi, Heather. <laughs> um, this one says, have a sloth some birthday. Thanks, a sloth. I love you so much, and thanks. So this is the one we're going to do tonight. So I actually die cut. Um, this is a Spellbinders. This one is called the Designer Series. This one is Wild and Free. So it's got the heart and that, but I only used the Hello for tonight. So, so I did use that. And then this was the other one. This one is um, Create Nest Lot uh, Dies. This is a extra um double x and it's just a heart shape but these are this is from the uk um this company is um it's called cree lies cree lies can you see it c-r-e-a-l-i-e-s the sloths are funny aren't they um, gabby loves sloth so i had to get that <laughs> so that was the other dye i used for tonight and then I um, have this washi tape. You can see here's like a Starbucks washi tape. So I have that I'll probably use. And then some sloth washi tape. I got that at Michael's. And that came with this tape. And it came with this one. <laughs> it says, want to hang out? And then this one says, slow down. This one says, what's the rush? <laughs> so we'll probably use those. Debbie? Oh, okay, Debbie, no cup so I can pour in. Oh, oh, so Debbie Epps, that she was streamed tomorrow night. 
Um, so it is Sunday in the U.S. It's an Easter Sunday, so there will be no stream on Sunday. All right, so what else do I have to show you? Mm, so I think I did all that. So this, I stamped this out, which um, unfortunately I'm going to have to cut on stream. I just didn't have time to cut it. So we're going to go with the vintage photo. Oh, let's see. Crack pistachio. We're going to do like we did kind of like a, with the steampunk um, and wall states. We're going to use these four first. <clears throat> I thought these would be good for the coffee one. I tried to look for my coffee. I have coffee stamps. If I can find them, I will try to use them. Two, probably. Let's see. They might be in here. Just hold on. Yep, maybe. <clears throat> It's Easter Easter Sunday too in the UK, Joan. That's good. You guys doing anything else special? I always ask for Easter. I love white chocolate, and so I always ask white chocolate. I think I'm the only person that I know that loves white chocolate. All right, yeah. So I do have some coffee coffee ones. This is the only one. Yeah. So we're gonna use these. And these are an old Prima um, coffee set, so I know you can't get them anymore. But Bo Bunny has them. If you look around, there's other people that have um, <coughs> coffee stamps. Hi, <Hey>, Linda. <coughs> All right. Hi, Janet. You just missed it, Janet. I didn't want to send, um, I didn't want to keep your Zentangle book and um, your little journal, this one that I um, sent you. So I put it in the mail yesterday. So hopefully you'll get it by the end of the week. And then you could decide to bring it with you. You will have to punch your own holes and your own elastic. I couldn't find my elastic. <laughs> so you'll have to do it yourself. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I did punch out. So these are the cards. So I did punch some, a punch, a cut. I should be spending the time with Paul Owen Sons. Oh, that's nice, Joan. So I made a black background, and then we're going to put these on top like that. And then I have a blue. Maybe we'll do some blue. Oh, you're welcome, Janet. This way you could decide to bring the Zentangle book. You might not want to carry your hat around with you all the time. And you can <coughs> decide to bring your little Australian book or... Save it for when you get home. That's up to you guys. Oh, and if you haven't heard from Jen, um, they had a super bad storm. And she had a leak in her craft room, and Squiz had a leak in his workshop. Oh, she's so upset. So, yeah, that's why you haven't heard from Jen or seen her um, lately. All right, so we have these. So, I feel so bad for her. Ugh. Especially your craft room. You don't want to leak in your craft room, you know? Ugh. That's your biggest decision. Me too, because I want to bring Teresa's book with me. I want to bring that. And did you see what I did with mine, Janet? I actually put um, watercolor pencils. I took these little pockets. These are from Jane Davenport. And then I put my um, watercolor pencils. So, I kept that in, in here. So, I know. Poor Jen. I know. Terrible. Terrible. All right, so I'm going to do, we have some birthday ones so I, and coffee ones. So I think I'm going to do three of the coffee and we'll do three of the birthday. So we'll do, and I'll save these two for maybe cleanups. Oh, I know. Oh, poor Janet. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do three of these. So we're going to go with the uh, vintage photo first. I can't even remember how I did this last time. If I did two or three of them at the same time, or if I did, I'll do, I think I'll do these. There's two dark ones. And then I need my water. So we're just going to spritz this. Oh. I thought I put this on. Hold on a second. Sorry, I have to answer this. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta answer this. 
Okay, there we go. We're having trouble with Ustream too. Oh. Okay, Diane, thanks for coming. I know Ustream lately has been a PETA, so what can you do? All right, so I'm just going to wet this a little. And then I'm actually just going to... And this is watercolor paper, so it's not um, glossy paper. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Make sure I have it. All right, so that's that one. And we'll add a little bit more. I know, it's... I don't know why people have... And I'm, like, right next to my monitor now, so I don't know why there's so much problems. I don't know. Right, so we got some of that going on. So there's that one. Oh, must be your lucky day. <laughs> uh, it's not blurry on my end, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it's not blurry on your end. Poor, poor Janet. All right, this one I think I'm going to just drag it this time. All right, so there's our start to that. And then I'm just going to wipe this up. And then I'm going to lay down some orange. You're fine? Oh, that's good. <laughs> and this one's pretty dry. Well, maybe I better dry these first. So heat gun. <laughs> All right, and we're going to add a little bit of orange to this. So there's that one. Some glossy paper too, where because I've seen where people have like um, brushed off the um, glossy paper. All right, so there's that one. Might have to put some more brown on this one. Let's just see if I can just pick these up. And there's that one. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more brown to this. <coughs> Let's go in here with some. This is the darker one, the walnut stain. I should get a piece of plastic. Maybe it would be better if we let try that. This is where they've actually put the plastic on... Um, try that. So what I'm going to do is show my plastics here. I'm actually going to put the add on here and then add it to here where I want. So you have a little bit more control that way instead of um, just guessing where it's going to go. OK, 
Okay, so there. <coughs> so that's that one. Looks more like coffee. Looks better. So let's do the same with this one. heard from Ange today. And then we'll have to do the same thing with the hearts um, that I have going on. There's that. I got one more. Let me see if I can just pick this up. I just needs a little bit more. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Wipe that down. Let's dry that. Oh, no, we got some paper on there. Pecan! Some ribbon too that I'll probably put on here. What's that? Sorry, Craft Sarah. some pistachio to this. I wish I had a little bit more room on my desk. Um, I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to use the paper towel. I mean the uh, this put the green on there as well. Mm. No. We have that so far. The oxides, they are a lot of fun. Yes, they are. I haven't played with Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's a lot of noise. I haven't played with mine since um, we made the other cards. All right, then we have this one. One more in there. And one, one more. Come out with new oxides colors? Just no, not yet. I would think probably summer, maybe. All right, 
So then there's that one. <laughs> All right. So let's dry this up. So heat guns, the only problem is they have to have to use a heat gun every time, so sorry. Still need we'll put some coffee um coffee stains in here, I think. Hi Lynn. <laughs> There's Ange. Feeling better? So I have some brown ink, and we'll do um, some coffee stains on here. And then I have the hearts that we'll probably have to um, we'll have to do something with those. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna use this one. Maybe we could use this. Let's do this one. Let's see what this looks like. <coughs> I wish I could find my, I had a little stamping pad thing, but I don't know what I did with it. I don't see it around. So, I think I'm going to move this one. Because I'm going to mostly do, um, let's do this. Probably should put a paper underneath here. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. I'm actually going to use another one, I think. Debbie's going to stream tomorrow around 7.30-ish, she says. You can put your Ustream in there, um, Deb, if you want. Your channel. Let's do this one. Kia. Excitement for what? So then we have that one. Kind of like that one better. The thinner. Um... All right. All right. So I think we're going to let me ink these around. What did I miss? Oh, she's got a new place. That's exciting. I dread having to pack everything up, but I love when you have to set up a new place. <laughs> All right, 
so we've got that done so let me tape these up and we can put these right on the card let me wipe this up <laughs> bandage your head for what She's beating her head, oh, beating her head against the wall. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't stream Sunday because we went out to dinner. I actually went to see the movie, um, oh, Tomb Raider. Is it Tomb Raider? That was really good. And then we went, if you guys ever have a, a hula hands by you, we went out there and I had some fish tacos. Yummy. They were the best fish tacos I ever had. But if you like Indiana Jones, it's a good movie. It's very much the Indiana Jones type movie. All right, I need to move over a little. Hold on, let me fix my camera here. Let's see. Let's see, I want to come that way. There we go. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe like in three weeks we leave. I just started like packing up some stuff. Stuff for Jen. I have a big box for her. And then someone told me that your carry-on is supposed to be like really, it's not like it's for international, it's a lot smaller. So um, I have to start looking at that. So I think I'm going to go with the black. Black. You love those movies? It's a good movie. All right, so let's put this down. I always just take off one part of the tape first, so this way I can decide where I want it. And then I go back and take the other tape off. <laughs> oh no, they sent your package back, Debbie? That's terrible. have that one card. I'm hoping we can get all six cards done. I want to do three coffee and three birthday ones. So we'll see how that goes. Remember we did the steampunks ones with the hearts and the gear, so this one will be more coffee themed. All right, and then one more. You like it? Me too. I like it against the black. It really pops, doesn't it? I have to look for my Tim die. I have um, his coffee cup die. I think that would be cute on here, too. I just didn't have time to look for everything today. All right. So 
so we have the our base so I like that that so I do have to take a few minutes to cut this out so just if you're watching over on YouTube just fast forward so I'll see what I want to do here let's cut this one out Oh, thanks, Gal. <laughs> yeah, they're really good steampunk on uh, a steampunk uh, one, too. When I did the birthday ones, they were really cool. We'll do two coffee ones, I think. Let's do two. This is such a little coffee one, too. I have to definitely find the uh, Tim's coffee uh, mug. So we'll do that. All right, so I do need to cut these out. So just fast forward while I do the... Has anybody heard from Jean how her mom's doing? Hi, Nisha. And then we could die cut these. I actually probably should put this on my uh, printer and make these a little bit bigger. I think this would be really cute, bigger. All right, so we have that. I like that sloppy break. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Actually want to try, you know, I do those little tear bears. I actually want to try to do a little tear sloth. And see what that would look like. Some some animals don't look as good um, as cute on the tear bear paper. <laughs> so I don't know how this one will look. There. Oh, she's not Dorothy. Oh, that's terrible. So I think I'm going to save this one, the birthday one, for when we do the uh, bluer background. I think I'll do the coffee one. I want to save one for Tim's big coffee cup and then put a sloth out of that. So let's just work on these two. So I do have a little hard to cut out. And I have some of these two I cut out. So we could do hello or I can do... Um, these are Heidi Swap's um, dies. I like this one that says thank you. And then this one that just says happy. Oh, she did? Oh, that's good. All right, so maybe we'll do happy and hello. So we'll do those two probably. And then I have these are my little hearts so they cut out. <coughs> uh, hold on. My hearts, where are they? when you think you have everything set up and then you don't where are my hearts oh here they are right in front of me so I did cut two out on a glossy so we could do maybe we could put the hello on this 
put the little coffee mug on there. And then I have one that's got watercolor paper. I'm put the sloth on that. And I got a little tiny one. I'll turn this one around. So I'm going to cover all the coffee. Um, try not to cover all the coffee stains. We'll put that one there, and we can maybe put that there, something like that. And I have the washi tape, so we're going to put some washi tape on there. So I think I'm going to do the same thing for the background. Yeah, that's, I know, poor Jean. I know, I know what it is to be with not good legs. All right, so we're going to do the same thing to these. But this one is the glossy, so we're going to wipe this with, um, I, I, have, I only have a little bit of Huggies left, so let's hope we can use that. So I'm going to do the same thing with these. We're going to go back and do these. Um, I think I'm going to try a different. I think I want to try um, maybe put a little fire brick red in here. Let me see if I got that. Let's give it more of a, a rust kind of color. So let's try that. So we'll go back in here with this. <coughs> So I want the hearts to stand out a little bit in the background. So, let's see. All right, so there's one. Now this is the one that's glossy, so let's see how that one's going to turn out. There's that. One. Hopefully we have enough to do this. All right, we've got that. All right, so let's heat dry this. I'm gonna need my scissors. Take on. And then instead of the spice marmalade, I'm going to go in with the red. Let's see how that works. This is probably a strong color, too. Let's see how it goes. Looks kind of more pink, though. That's fire brick red. Let me just try that on a... Oh, that is more, more pink, not really red. Probably should have gone more with maybe candy apple red. Well, it'll sh show up in the background anyway. All right, there's that.
I don't know if I really like that color, but we'll see. <laughs> see how it goes. So he can again. Then we're going to go in with uh, pistachio. See how that goes. I think I'm going to go back in with that um, plastic. Where is it? That's where I put it. Right here. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's hiding. All right. So I'm gonna go in with this. I think I'll go back over it with the brown again. Like the way that one looks not too wild about that one but when we wipe it back hopefully it'll be better all right so again I have to come in with the heat gun some more bad weather but up north thank goodness there's might be getting some snow it's like oh my gosh I think I'm going to go in with on these because they look so like, I don't know, faded kind of. I'm going to go in with the orange on these. This is the one with the glossy paper. These seem okay. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come in with this. Green's off. I don't want to make brown. I think that might get pop when we go to put the um, when we go to use the the baby wipe. Okay, I'm not gonna put the orange on those. Okay. 
All right, heat them one more time. So now this should really pop when we um, wipe it back with the baby wipe. Hopefully. Let's just take all the chalkiness off of there and just leave the bright colors. I'm hoping. <laughs> all right. So here's what they look like now. They're just kind of dull. You can see them. It's kind of dull. I'll do one and then you'll we'll put it up to the next, the other one. So you can see. So what you do now is you take a baby wipe. And if you didn't have these, you could do it with distress, regular distress inks, but it's still not going to be as vibrant as if you did it this way. All right, so I'm going to wipe back this. And can you see just the difference there? How bright, how bright that is now? Can you see that there? See how bright it is now? So I'm just wiping back all that chalkiness. That is such a cool technique. I don't know who came up with that, but it's very cool. So you can see how bright that is. So this is what it looked like, the dullness, and now there it is, bright. You can see that. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool the way that that works. It's just like so awesome. All right, so I'm going to show, I'll do this half and then you can see the other one. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Ah, that did. So you can see how brighter this is compared to this. Yes, it works. It works. <laughs> it does work. Although it doesn't seem to be staying. Like it just seems to be, maybe I don't have it all off. It seems like to be going back to the chalkiness. Why is that? It shouldn't. Ugh, bending it. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I don't know if Tim came up with it, or I don't really know who came up with that, but it's very cool. So you can see how dull that is and how that's bright now, nice and bright. <laughs> so, all right. So we're going to need some, put this one here, and then this one on here. So I'm going to have to ink this, I think. So where is my archive link? So let's ink these. Now see, it dulled, it dulled back, so I don't know what the trick is to keeping it. There must be something that I'm not doing right. Because it should stay, once you wipe that off, it should stay off. But it's right back to being dull again. It's weird. Yeah, see that? I wonder why that is. It should stay. It should stay, but it's not. Does anybody know what the trick is? <laughs> I don't. Because look how nice and bright that is. But then it just doubles back up again. I don't know. Save the videos. All right. Well, that's that. I'll have to see what, what you do to make it stay. Because it's really cool when it rubs off. But see, now it's right back again. I'm going to do this one. Let's 
So this is just some regular watercolor paper. And I like to pop dot my stuff so <clears throat> we're gonna put this and where do we put our little coffee things? So, so I have the faded jeans here so I'm gonna um, just put a little bit on my mat there and I need a water pen a water brush water in this one yes. and so I'm just going to take a little bit of this and color the whoops I'm just coloring the coffee cup here So we have that. <laughs> Thank you. I'll color him later. Um, so let's put him here. So this one we're going to put hello and we'll put him. Maybe I'll just stick him right there. Put the hello here. Put that there. Let's see what kind of. We could put the little washi tape across the bottom. Darn it. <laughs> I hate when that happens with the washi tape. Some of them you have to just tear really slow. You can't just tear them quick. So this is one of those ones. Oh, maybe not. It's like, why is that doing that? It could be used on Yupo paper, yes. Could do it. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe instead of being on glossy, I should have done it on Yupo. Maybe. Maybe that's why it's not staying. All right. Let's see. I almost have it. This is the first time I use this one, so I don't know why it's. Give me such a hard time. There we go. Hopefully it'll come all off. Yeah. You just have to start it off. Some of them you just have to be really slow with. I think it's been Oh, thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. Alright, so, ah, it's ripping again. You know what? I'm going to have to, if I can't get this one off, I'll have to use something else. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's put this one across the, maybe across the bottom. That's nice. It's like translucent, so you could still see the back of the, um, oh, it's still ripping like that. I wonder why. This one is not a good tape. All right, so I'll have to fool around with that one later. I don't know why that's ripping like that. Whole thing. 
Not a good one. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pop dots here. <laughs> so I usually use a cardboard, but um, I don't know where they are right now, so I'm just going to use this. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> oh my God, Joan, did you see that thing that um, Patty sent you uh, with Oakley on Facebook? <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost died laughing. She has, um, she must have an app and her little puppy. She's just got a new puppy, <laughs> and she has it talking, and she's like, um, Aunt Joan and Uncle Paul. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was hysterical. Oh, I want this a little bit. Crooked. It was so funny, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, so that'll cover that one that's ripped a little. All right, and I'm going to put this one down here. And then we're going to put the hello here. Let me go put the hello up top. And we'll put the little sloth there. Isn't he cute? <laughs> All right, I want to ink this, though. Get rid of that white spot. <laughs> I know, it was so funny, wasn't it? <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, my gosh. That is, like, such a good app, whatever it is. It's so she got her she gets her little dog to talk like it's so funny. <laughs> She's like, I promise I'll be a good pup. No, I promise I'll be good when I get older, but I can't right now cuz I'm a puppy. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be his paws are huge. Yep, I saw the same thing, Jennifer. Yep. All right. So, we need glue stick. You saw the video? <laughs> his name was, yeah, his name's Oakley. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. But Dave, he loves cowboy. I think it has, must have something to do with cowboys because he loves cowboy movies. All right, and then this one. I'm going to stick just like that. So I'll put it just like that. Uh, maybe I should bring you guys in a little bit closer. Kind of far, aren't you? Let's see. Nope, wrong way. There we go. All right, so there we go. So there's the first card. Isn't it cute? <laughs> That's cute. So let's put that on. First one, I'm trying to use a heat gun or wash tip roll. Oh, yeah, maybe. I wonder if that would work. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Of course, it's crooked. <laughs> well, you get the idea. All right. Tape. Do I have my tape? Oh, it's got all wet. Oh, thanks, DB. Lena used the heat gun to make washi let it go. Oh, maybe. Oh, 
we'll try it. We'll try. Wow, thanks, Eileen. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, I love playing with the Distress Oxide, so. And that red made it pop just a little bit, too, from the other one, so. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So. I always just put the middle one in so I could get it down so I don't have to worry about it being crooked or and then I take the other tapes off Oops. so there is there's the first one <laughs> you can see it there this face is so cute isn't it <laughs> really cute all right so that's the first one so then the next one we're not going to fool around with that tape anymore. <laughs> the next one, we'll use this. Let's see. I have this tape and I have the sloth one. We'll put this one on. Hopefully this one works. <laughs> I hope. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. So we'll put this one. I wonder if I should put it in that go sideways. We do this one. What about if we did it long ways? Let's see. Did that like that. And then this here. And then run the tape across there. And where's my little coffee can I? Oh, thanks, Lena. Thanks, Dory. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> All right. What did I do with the other little coffee guy? I think we'll do this one this way, long ways. So I'll stick this one here. A slothy coffee. Yeah. All right, and then we'll put this one on here. Like I said, I usually put um, chipboard on here, but um, I just can get my hands on my chipboard tonight. This one here. <laughs> Thanks. I'm disappointed that doesn't doesn't stay. Maybe it's because it's Yupo you have to do that too. Must be. All right, so we have that down. And then now I just have to find the little coffee guy that cut out. Do you see where it is? <clears throat> well, let's put it on here so I can find it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Sloppy coffee. We'll stick that. Make sure I open it. <laughs> the other day I was sending Patty her card and I put the thing on backwards. Oh, I might have to just cut another one because I just, oh, I don't know what it was. All right, let's stick this one on. Tape. <laughs> probably have to go get I think they they might still have that um, washi tape at uh, Michael's he sent Gabby some off of um, the roll that I have here <coughs> all right let me 
have that there. <laughs> yeah, these are new. I think they just came out, these, uh, the sloth one and the little dog one. <clears throat> that and since I can't find I can't find it let's wonder maybe if we do the thank you one I might have to cut this one thank thank you maybe we'll do that and then oh, where is it <laughs> Maybe we can do this. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Let's do this one. Just wipe on photo paper, glossy car, I believe, micro glaze. Oh, that's what I need, the micro glaze. Thank you, Dorothy. That's what it is. It's not the baby wipe. I don't know if I have the micro glaze here. So, oh, yes, I think I do. Hold on. I gotta move all my stuff. Thanks, Dorothy. Oops. Oh, gosh. Crap a lunch. Yes, I do. Yes. I'm good. Well, let's try that. All right. So, I'm have the little paper towel. Do I do it with my finger? Paper towel. That's what's doing it. So you need the micro glaze to wipe it off. Got it. Got it now. So it's not a baby wipe. It's a micro glaze. Cool. So there you can see it now. You can see it's nice and bright. Can you see it? Compared to this. Oh, Darren looked it up. Not Dorothy. Darren, thank you. <laughs> so who is it? It says, just wipe on photo paper or glossy cardstock. I believe micro glaze is needed to keep the glossy look. Treasures of many, I believe, may have discovered the photo paper technique a while back. There's a YouTube she did a year ago now, she said. Thank you. Thank you for the info. Yep, that'll do it. Oh, my computer is like going to sleep. Cool. Yep, Darren to the rescue. <laughs> Yay, that looks so much better. <clears throat> it makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <clears throat> So, that's, so this is what you need. Tim's Distress Glaze. Distress Glaze. Not just a baby wipe. Yahoo. So you can see how lotion and, and shiny and bright it is now. I don't know if I can get it. You can see it's a lot brighter. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> All right, so... I don't know if I really like that one. I don't know what happened to my little coffee cape gun. 
I do like the thank you here. But then we should use thanks. Thanks a sloth. I think. Let's try this. Is that one a good one? You <coughs> posted links on Twitter for check out the visitor's attraction in Victoria. So, oh, thanks, Heather. I made you those little stamps. I don't know if you saw them, but I made for you and um, Carrie Ann. They have the little girls holding the koala and the um, kangaroo. So I'll bring them with me. You'll have to give me your email so I can tell you the days that we're going to be there. Because we have our flights already booked, so we know exactly the dates that we're going to be there. We can put that there, and then this one, thanks a lot, Day. Thanks a sloth. <coughs> wow. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <coughs> yes, message me on Twitter. Yep, that'll be good. Then I'll give you our dates. Yeah, I, I told you Jen won't be um, with us, though. Thanks a lot, Sloth. I don't know, it seems like it needs something else. You think it would be too much if I put the thank you, thanks, thanks a Sloth? <laughs> what do you think? How about that? Is that too many thanks? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a sloth. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <clears throat> and then I'll color these. What time is it? We still have a little time. So I'm going to put this on a pop dot. So, so Wednesday, we'll probably do the dog cards, since we're not going to be streaming on. This one I'm just going to glue flat. <clears throat> so that Distress Glaze worked a lot better. So, again, if you were with me earlier, when I was trying to do the baby wipe, it's not the baby wipe that makes takes the shine off. It is Tim's Distress Glaze that takes the shine off. Let's do the U first. Just by luck, I happen to have that right there. Usually, I would have to say, oh, it's upstairs.
so now you can see how the shine with the distress glaze made it a lot brighter especially the orange as you can see is a lot brighter I wish you could see it better but it's much better and then we have the little sloth tape thank you thanks I like that one all right so we did two so we should be able to get one more done so that's those two let's color him a little bit let's see I'm gonna go with the, um, the brown vintage photo I'm just going to put just a little drop. It's a little bit more. We'll take it right from there. Not, not enough. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad you jumped in because now we problem was solved. Thank you very much. <laughs> So that we have him painted up there. Oh, thanks, Jenny. <laughs> All right, so that's those two. Let's color him while we have the paint out. I love his smile. His smile is so cute. It's a little bit darker on the outside. <laughs> so there it is. There's that one. <laughs> All right. So we have one more. Um, I already did one from last time, so let's do that, and we'll use that as a birthday one. So if you remember, I did these. We did kind of with a turtle. I think we did these with the turtle. So let's do this one for um, the birthday. So this one, I think I could add some xylene here. Flowers. <laughs> little round ones. I'm going to put those on there. Just another little dark one maybe. Alright, going right by Gina. Oh, that would be nice. Be very nice. 
All right, so I think I'm going to put this. I'll put one of these. Maybe one of these. And then I'll put a couple of these little ones. And I have some ribbon. I'm going to put some ribbon down. So I'm going to put this green ribbon down here. And so this one will be the birthday one, which is the one I like to cut out, which is this one. Didn't I cut this out already? I thought I cut this out, or I didn't. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I've got these cute little weaves, too. Didn't I cut that one out? No, I didn't. I started to cut it out, <laughs> but then I didn't. So just fast forward till I cut this one out if you're watching. Poor fibs, they have to just stand by and watch. <laughs> I like this one too. I like they have such good smiles on this um, stamp set. Then I've, I have a uh, balloon die. I'd like to put, cut out a big balloon and put it on here. So that's what I might do for the other card, the other birthday one. Oh, look at that too close. Almost done. I would cut this out a little bit better, but I'm trying to rush. So I think we can put, I'm going to stick this one down here, stick that. Should we put another heart on there, I wonder? I could just use a plain heart. I think it needs a bigger heart. sideways this way and then use a bigger string I have a couple of these little leaves I can use for this tree so we can stick it down more Maybe I won't do it long ways. I can't make up my mind tonight. <laughs> ah, I just took it 
<laughs> so I put the sloth down there. And put this back. I wish I would have had a happy birthday die. I don't really have one of those. But what do we have for happy birthday on here? Uh, slow down, enjoy your day. Have a slawsome birthday. That's a good one. right in the flower. So let's see if we do that. I'm going to have to move that over. So if we do something like that, you see that? I think that will be cute. All right, so let's glue them down. Maybe I'll pop them up. I don't have any more pop dots. Oh, where is the other? Let's see what this says. Says want to hang out. What's your rush? Snap all day. <laughs> this one's cute, but it's not for birthday. You have a few happy birthday dice? <laughs> That's good, Joan. You can bring them to Maryland. And I'll cut them. I'll cut out some. I think I'm going to use these little flowers, too, since I have so many of these. One, two, three. So I'll do something like that. How's that? So I need to pop these up. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So I'm going to pop them up. And I have a little popped out. I'm looking for another little popped up. These pop dots, the only reason I don't like to use them is because they have that red line tape on the back of them and they're so hard to get off. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to stick that there. And then we'll glue these down. Whoops. I can find my glue. My computer is like. Oh, thanks, Joan. My computer keeps falling asleep tonight. I don't know why. Oh, I might as well glue these flowers down. Oh, and the ribbon. Done it for me. 
these two little ones down. I have these little jewels I could stick on here. Where are they? Oh, not that one. This one. I thought I had some blue ones. Yep, I do. Let's stick these in here. All right, so then we have that one. Can you see? Have a slothsome birthday. <laughs> All right. So we can color that one. So I think I'm going to color it with the, the red balloon. The red balloon. Like, I don't have enough water or something. Let's see. There we go. And then we'll color him. <laughs> we'll do again with the vintage photo. We need the trees branch darkened. And then I'll do it lightly here. I'm going to turn them around though <laughs> so I can see. It's a little bit darker in here. We have that there. <laughs> Cute. And then we'll give them a nice blue party hat. How's that? And then I'll probably put some stickles on there. So there we go. <laughs> so we'll work on the other cards Wednesday, the little dog ones. So that's these. Plus I can look for my coffee, all my coffee stuff. So we'll work on those on Wednesday. So you guys have any questions? I have one big mess here. <laughs> um, so no stream Sunday. So I hope wishing you guys a very happy Easter for those of you who celebrate. A very happy Passover for those of you who celebrate that. And then... Wednesday we will work on the dog card. So we have that card. We have the two little coffee cup ones. 
that one. And this one. I'll stick this one in the middle here. There we go. <laughs> I can see it better. <laughs> there we go. What's the actual size of these cards? These are... I think they're... They are six and a half by five. Six and a half by five. They're the ones that I get at Michael's that's already in the pack. You know, you can get, usually get them two for five dollars. Um, so, yeah. So, they look cute. I might go back in and um, I definitely want to put some stickles around the edge, around the hearts and stuff. So, thanks, Dorothy. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. So, enjoy your Easter. I will see you back here on Wednesday. Um, anybody else? So Debbie Epps is um, streaming tomorrow night at 7.30. Thanks, Eileen. Yes, you have Happy Easter, too. Um, what's Debbie's channel? I don't, I don't know what her channel is. Anybody know? <clears throat> Happy Easter, Joan. <laughs> Dorothy, Lynn, everyone. <clears throat> Anybody? Debbie Epps' uh, channel. Thanks, Kia. Good luck moving. <laughs> <clears throat> Night, CB. <clears throat> anyway, if you're on Instagram, look for her uh, tweet. She will. Uh... Thanks, Joan. <laughs> Aw, thanks, CB. <clears throat> I don't see Debbie. Yeah, she's not here, so. <clears throat> it's just Debbie Epps? Okay, so just Debbie Epps it is. Yep. Debbie Epps, yep. D E B B Y E P P S. So, so I'll see you there tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs>